Hey everyone, welcome to the channel and welcome to this RV tour. That's right, we're gonna tour our 2022 Rockwood 2887MB, which stands for mid bunk. Uh, I did do a tour video our first season at our first stop in Navarre Beach, but I want to do a little update tour kind of two years later and how we like it. So let's get started with this tour and we'll do a walk around of the outside first and then we'll go ahead and I'll show you the interior. Now you got to excuse me for the interior and stuff. This is the day before we hitch up and go. We're headed to Cody, Wyoming for the summer and it's gonna be our Yellowstone Summer of Adventure 2024. I'll be work camping at the Cody KOA holiday for the entire summer. And while I mention that, if you could hit that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. And y'all are really gonna to wanna to stick around and follow us for on our adventures as we travel north to Cody all the stops we're gonna make and all the stuff that we're gonna be doing in Cody and in Yellowstone this summer. So hit that subscribe button, I really would appreciate it. Thanks, but on with the tour. All right, this is the front of our Rockwood Ultralight. It has a turning point trail air pin by Lippert. Here is our front storage compartment with our solar batteries. We don't have a whole lot of solar, but we got enough to run the refrigerator and some outlets inside while we're boondocking. We got slam latches. Come around over here to the side. We have three slides. That's our master bedroom slide. We have a east-west uh, bed, our bunkhouse slide, really big pass-through storage. I know you can't see real well how big the storage is because I've got it loaded up for the trip. But yeah, really big pass-through storage. Our Nautilus system, black and gray tanks, come around 50 amp cord and we have our rear storage rack that can hold up to 300 pounds ladder to go up on the roof here's our super slide for our main living also another little storage area right here I put all my barbecue stuff in there outdoor outlet outdoor cable connection hook up for outdoor tv and we have two speakers here lots of windows got two really big awnings here and hot water heater and here's the other side of our pass-through storage as you can see i got a lot of stuff in here chairs step ladders i got our clamshell in there got a, a griddle in there lots of stuff that fits in here and i'm gonna go ahead and close it slam locks and here 30 pound propane bottles i got two of them and we got solid steps and let's go check out the interior and as we come in We have our control center right here. Let me go ahead and get some more lights on. Have our control center here. Black tank, gray tanks, awning slide controls, our solar system. That's a switch for our ceiling fan that you'll see in a minute. Got storage as you come in. That's why we picked this unit is because all of the storage in here is incredible. Here's our main living area. Theater seating. No, it's not heated massage or anything like that, but uh, it does have uh, lumbar support. Lots of windows on our campsite that we really like. It really opens up the space. Our booth, this is mainly where Carrie works and where I work, where I do my video editing. Lots of cabinets up here. Lots of under under the sink cabinets right here lots of storage 
like I said, that's the main reason why. Big double sink. Got a little sprayer nozzle right here for the sink. A Magic Chef three burner stove. And that's the oven. Yeah, can't quite do a tur turkey in there, but it's your typical RV oven. Here's some of our storage. Now this is kind of, we got things kind of stored for travel. We still got to put some tension rods up. And these little things right here, little Velcro straps, we Velcro the doors closed just to make sure they don't come open. Microwave, 12 volt refrigerator. Not gonna show you in there. Well, maybe I will. Yeah, it's not too bad. 12 volt refrigerator. Little freezer. We got it pretty jam packed. And pantry. We like the pantry. Uh, there we go. Motion light. Really nice size pantry. Can hold a lot, as you can see. And we got like a little shoe divider to hold even more stuff. But that's overall the main living area. We have storage here above the refrigerator. And let's go ahead and I'm doing a little small spin around so you guys can kind of get a look. And there's Bendy decided to get in on the video. Samsung LED smart TV, electric fireplace. That actually works really well. That thing will keep us nice and toasty warm. That thing is great. We use that a lot. And let's see, here is the monk house. Uh, it's not too bad. I have a 14 year old face. This is face room. So it's not real, real bad as far as dirt goes. Lower bunk, upper bunk. She has her own TV entertainment center with lots of storage i'm not going to go i'm not going to show y'all this stuff because this is her private stuff i'm not going to open that but lots of storage here lots of storage here for her and that was another reason why we picked this rv was for faith so she could have her own room door and lots of storage for her stuff as a teenager she needs that and i'm going to go upstairs and into the bathroom yeah. and let's see bathroom lots of storage again good bathroom storage got some storage up here medicine cabinet really big sink for in here nice counter space for all our toiletries more storage under the sink and nice big shower right here nice big shower got a seat i want to get a different shower head one that you know has a little more pressure to it and we got a teak mat that we absolutely love and we need to oil it a little bit but if you guys got an rv get yourself a teak mat that there this thing is fantastic it's well over a year old has worked great all the the hair and stuff fall through into the drain and it's really really good and i think it looks great too so that's our bathroom skylight ac fantastic fan all right now we're gonna move to the bedroom and as we go into the master bedroom windows here window here window here let's in quite a bit of light with both these windows and if there's a math we're still kind of organizing big closet lots of closet space and more space here got another hanging rod this shelf is removable so if we have more hanging clothes we could take this shelf out and hang the clothes here ac just kicked on so hopefully it doesn't get too loud drawers and this is where i keep all of our vacuum accessories this is our bed it is a queen bed got power outlets on both sides for charging ports uh windows on either side uh 
uh, this is a really nice space uh, we've really really enjoyed this RV and in two years I mean I mean we just love it we I mean I've had some little uh, turn this around had some little maintenance issues here and there but nothing really major but that's to be expected in an RV when you live in an RV there's gonna be something to repair like I had a balance come down you know really rough road and that's what we're going to in the next day or so got a stretch of road super rough everything bounces around had a balance come loose it just put some screws in it put it back up but overall this rv has held up really really well and it's been great for us and a lot of people say you can't full time in an ultralight but we've been doing this for Two years now in an ultralight and haven't had any issues knock on wood no major issues so far full time and in the ultralight a great gas mileage as far as towing goes because it's an ultralight but that's it for the tour of what we call the freedom chateau because we're from louisiana and we're cajun so we got that french background so i call it the freedom chateau uh but that's it so glad you guys could join me on this rv tour and again if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and definitely hit that subscribe button ring the bell for notifications because this is actually the night before we hit the road for cody wyoming like i said at the beginning of the video we're going to be in cody wyoming the entire summer going in and out of yellowstone having all kind of adventures and we definitely want all of you guys to come along for the ride so and sharing those adventures with us so you can't do that if you don't subscribe and ringing the bell for notifications it'll let you know when those videos drop and they're going to be dropping i'm going to release more content this year than i ever have and consistently it's going to be at least two probably one to two videos a week for the first three weeks when we get up there and then it's going to be a video every week consistently that way you guys can see everything we're doing and y'all can stay up with us but that's it from the freedom chateau i gotta go outside and finish getting this rig ready to roll in the morning and i need to get some sleep but as we say in louisiana les ailes bon temps roulé let the good times roll and thank you guys for watching hope every one of you have safe travels out there bye bye now